Hi, first grade scholars. Mr. Christian back to read you today's Read Aloud. And in today's Read Aloud, we're going to be reading about our favorite guinea pig, Fluffy. The title of today's Read Aloud is Fluffy Silly Summer. The author, of course, is Kate McMullen. The illustrator is Mavis Smith. So let's find out what Fluffy is up to in this Read Aloud. Fluffy the Hero. Fluffy went home with Maxwell for summer vacation. Oh boy, thought Fluffy. I will nibble grass. I will lie in the sun. I love summer. Maxwell put Fluffy's cage in the den. He gave Fluffy seeds and water. I'm going to the park, Maxwell told Fluffy. I will see you later. Wait thought Fluffy. What will I do? Maxwell's sister Violet came into the den. Are you tired of being in that cage? She asked Fluffy. You got that right, thought Fluffy. Do you want to go outside with me? Asked Violet. Do I ever, thought Fluffy. Take me to the grass. Violet picked Fluffy up. I'm going to take you swimming, she said. Take me what? thought Fluffy. Hey, stop. Wait a second, thought Fluffy. I am a land animal. I walk. I run. I even trot. But I do not swim. Violet carried Fluffy outside to her waiting pool. She put, him she put him on the back of a yellow duck, and she pushed the duck toward the middle of the pool. Whee! she said. The duck bounced up and down. Fluffy held on to the duck's neck. Easy, big fellow, he said to the duck. I don't want to get wet. What do you think, scholars? you think he's going to get wet? I think he is. I think that duck can only hold so much. We'll see. Violet jumped into the waiting pool. Isn't this fun? She said. Not yet, thought Fluffy. Violet kicked and splashed. Wee! she said. The duck bounced up and down. Stop, thought Fluffy. Whoa, ducky! Then Fluffy saw a fin in the water. A shark was swimming toward Violet. Fluffy had to save her. Go, 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 Fluffy called to his duck. Fluffy rode toward the shark. Faster, he called to his duck. There's a shark in the pool. I don't think so. I don't think that's true. What do you think, scholars? Maybe it's another toy, maybe like a shark toy, or maybe it's someone swimming in the water with them. Huh, I wonder, what do you think? Let's continue to find out. The duck carried Fluffy over to the shark. Fluffy hit the shark on the head. He popped it in the nose. Fluffy hit him again, right in the teeth. That did it. The shark rolled over. Look, Fluffy looks so happy and victorious. He's like, I did it. Fluffy the hero rode his duck over to Violet. You are safe now, Violet, thought Fluffy. That shark will not hurt you. Violet picked Fluffy up. No, 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 no. Do not thank me, thought Fluffy the hero. I was only doing my job. Violet dunked Fluffy in the water. Whee! she cried. A hero's life is never easy, thought Fluffy. I thought they were going to talk about the shark. Let's go back to that page, scholars. Yeah, I think it's a toy shark. Doesn't look like it's real. Yeah, it looks nothing like a real shark. And it, just, it looks like one of those toy, like inflatable ones. like Or maybe like a rubber shark, too. No? 
Well, he is a hero for sure. <laughs> All right, a prize for Fluffy. Maxwell, Wade, and Emma read a sign in a pet shop window. It said, Best Pets Contest. Is your pet good looking? Is your pet smart? Can your pet do a trick? Bring your pet to Mr. Small's Pet Shop on Saturday at 1 o'clock. There will be prizes for the best pets. Fluffy could win a prize, Emma said. A prize, thought Fluffy. I win all the prizes. On Saturday morning, Emma washed Fluffy's face and ears. Maxwell washed Fluffy's paws. Wade turned him over and washed his tummy. Enough, thought Fluffy. I'm not going for the clean prize. We want to enter Fluffy in a contest, Maxwell told Mr. Small. You are looking at the big winner, thought Fluffy. Mr. Small wrote down Fluffy's name. All kinds of pets came for the contest. But there was only one other guinea pig Maxwell put Fluffy down beside it. I am a crested pig, the other guinea pig told Fluffy. She scratched her head. I am going to win this contest. Fluffy's eyes got very big. The other guinea pig was Kiss. Kiss did not seem to remember Fluffy. But Fluffy remembered her. Kiss had eaten his valentine apple. Kiss had said his toys were junk. Fluffy did not like Kiss. I am beautiful, Kiss told Fluffy. I am smart. I can do a million tricks. I will win all the prizes. I don't think so, said Fluffy. We got the best pet contest going on. Kiss, called Mr. Small. A girl took Kiss onto the stage. Kiss turned around. Kiss counted to one. Kiss rolled over. Fluffy thought Kiss was very good. He bit his nails. Can I beat her? He wondered. Oh, so Kiss is up doing her, her show. Did you see me? Kiss asked when her turn was over. That was really great, wasn't I? Kiss scratched her head again. Fluffy saw some dark spots on her crest. Kiss had fleas. One of her fleas jumped onto Fluffy. Yikes, thought Fluffy. Fluffy, called Mr. Small. Maxwell carried Fluffy onto the stage. He put Fluffy down. Fluffy shook his head. He shook his arms and his legs. He had to get that flea off. So he's doing a whole bunch of this shaking, but he's on stage. What do you think is going on here, scholars? Well, he's obviously scratching himself and moving around because of that flea that got onto him. But maybe Fluffy doesn't know. He's actually performing on stage, right? Him being silly and trying to get that flea off makes it seem like he's actually doing a performance to everybody else. We'll see what happens. Fluffy skipped across the stage. Go, Fluffy, called Wade. Fluffy turned upside down and kicked his feet. What a pig, called Emma. Fluffy scratched his head with one paw. He rubbed his tummy with the other. He had to get rid of that flea. The flea was on Fluffy's head. All of Fluffy's jumping around had made the, de had made the flea very dizzy. The flea jumped off Fluffy. Yes, thought Fluffy. The flea was gone. He pumped his paw in the air as he ran off stage. Here's a prize, said Mr. Small. It is for the best dancer. Fluffy! Everyone clapped and clapped. Wow, Maxwell said. How did Fluffy get to be such a good dancer? I think I will keep that a secret, thought Fluffy. The big, bad Fluffy. Maxwell took Fluffy out to the backyard. Fluffy looked around. It's a jungle out here, he thought. Keep an eye on Fluffy, Maxwell, said his mom. Don't worry, said Maxwell. Fluffy won't go anywhere. 
Max will lay down in the backyard. He put Fluffy down next to him. Max will watch Fluffy nibble grass. He watched him sniff the ground. Max will close his eyes. Fluffy wandered away. In the jungle, thought Fluffy, danger is everywhere. Fluffy walked into the jungle. A lion poked his head out the brush. Get back, thought Fluffy. You do not want to mess with a big bad pig. The lion ran back into the brush. Is that really a lion, scholars? No. But Fluffy's pretending that he's in the jungle. I think this is a, a mole, like a mole rat. That's just in your common backyard. Fluffy made his way through the jungle. A snake lay in his path. Go away, thought Fluffy, or I will tie you into a big bat knot. The snake crawled off. Is this a snake? No. It's a worm. But then again, Fluffy mm -hmm. is pretending that he is in the jungle. Fluffy walked deeper into the jungle. You don't scare me, thought Fluffy. I'm big and I'm bad. The tiger hurried away. Fluffy smiled. It is good to be big and bad, he thought. Now is this a tiger? No, it's a squirrel. Suddenly, a dog barked and Fluffy... Oh, I'm sorry, let me read that again. Suddenly, a dog barked at Fluffy. Fluffy jumped. He started running. He saw a hole at the bottom of a tree. He dove it to hide. He dove into it to hide. But the hole was not empty. It was full of baby rabbits. Fluffy saw the dog running for the rabbit hole. Fluffy jumped into the nest of baby rabbits. The dog stuck his head into the rabbit hole. Fluffy tried to look like a cute little bunny. The dog went away. Sometimes, thought Fluffy, it is good to be little and cute. Just then, Mama Rabbit came home. Mama Rabbit picked up one of her babies. She picked up another. She bent down to pick up Fluffy. Uh-oh, thought Fluffy. You are not one of my babies, Mama Rabbit said. She growled at Fluffy. Get out of my nest or you will be sorry. And Fluffy just, he's like, I am out of here. <laughs> Fluffy leaped out of the nest. He jumped out of the rabbit hole. He ran across the backyard straight to Maxwell. Maxwell opened his eyes. I knew you would not go anywhere, he said to Fluffy. Maxwell picked Fluffy up and took him inside. Sometimes, thought Fluffy, it is good to be home. And that is the end of our read aloud, Fluffy Silly Summer. I hope you enjoyed, scholars. Enjoy the rest of your day today, all right? And have a great weekend.